big names in business, Amazon, Google and Walmart, they're amongst 42 companies urging the US to rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement. Investors also need to focus on climate, uh, says Mark Carney. In an exclusive interview, I spoke to the former head of the Bank of England about his new role as UN Special Envoy on Climate Action and Finance. Our objective is to have in place the information, the tools in the markets so that the private financial system can take climate change into account with every financial decision. Uh, in fact, that it does take it into account. So in other words, when making a loan, making an investment, managing risk, uh, you consider issues of climate change, just like you consider issues of the creditworthiness of the company or where interest rates are going or future technologies. And so what we do is we work with the private sector to develop that information, those tools, those markets. And then through that process, we then get the public sector the central banks, the governments, the standard setters around the world, the authorities, the IMF, others, to put in place a formal framework around those once we know that the markets are going to work. And we're doing it on an expedited basis for for uh, for Glasgow a year from now. But is but everybody sort of knows about climate change, and CEOs have repeatedly said it is one of the most important issues facing. But getting to the practicalities. Ah, uh, yes, but okay. But now what's happening is this. Uh, first, you have $170 trillion. I want you to repeat that. $170 trillion of capital that is demanding information from companies on not just what their carbon footprint is today, how much they emit in terms of greenhouse gases, but what they're going to do about it. Okay, that totally changes the game. And that's something that's developed over the course of just the last couple of years. That changes the game. And what it does is it means that if I'm making a loan, or more interestingly, if I'm making an investment, I'm looking at a company and saying, hmm, where is their trajectory for their greenhouse gases, their climate emissions, their contribution to climate change? Are they part of the solution or are they part of the problem? If they're part of the solution, I'm going to make a lot of money potentially backing that company. If they're part of the problem, I'm going to lose a lot of money backing them if the world is serious about addressing climate change. And so what we're doing is unpacking uh, this issue so that investors, uh, including people watching, so can be in a position so that they can put their money behind solutions if they, you know, if they, if they want so to. You, and you... before, before, Richard, sorry, the point was before it was talk, now it's hard numbers, it's hard data, it's allocation of capital in size. Now you're a few years younger than me. Um, the would it would it still? I mean, you've held some of the top jobs, the very top jobs in finance and um, policy making. What do you still want to do? This particular job. I mean, what's the goal here? What does Mark Carney act? I know you're great <laughs> answering questions about yourself. I yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're becoming uncomfortable even thinking about it. I know. I, yeah, I know. Don't like. I don't want to look inside my soul, Richard. Uh, the uh, what do I want to do? Look, I I was asked by the Secretary General and Prime Minister Johnson to do this role, uh, and and you know this is the type of thing that uh, I really do um, get interested in and uh, get excited about because it's about using the power of the market to organize and organize in the market or right. organizing capitalism to solve society's problems. So what, and, and, and working on, on, on both sides of that. You know, the other role I have is, uh, I have a role in the private sector with Brookfield Asset Management, which is impact investing to actually put money behind part of the, you know, this transition moving from where we are to where we, uh, where we need to get to and finding the opportunity. So those are the things that interest me. Uh, you know, I'm, I've been very fortunate in my career to have, uh, higher impact roles uh, and work with great people and hopefully that will that will continue